Ding, uh, for straight hair. <laughs> you got the acceptance email, and now you're waiting for the summer training. What now? Click, click, click. That's my time. That's my. Okay, mm. just forget I did that. <laughs> Intro video starts now. Bam. What up, YouTube? Hi. Shelly and Rob here. Oh, we're just coming from the gym on our other video. If you haven't noticed, we're working that's, out. That's why we kind of look. That's why we look crazy. Well, I but we wanted to create this quick video for you guys. So for this video, we're gonna talk about our top ten. Ten things that. Today. Yes. So we've been getting a lot of questions and advice seeking. So we decided to make another video. Our tips we would give during for the summer trainings or trainings. I know I quit, but I got about 60% through. So my advice still kind of works. And I don't fault the fellows. I don't hate it. I just don't agree with a lot of it. I'm still going to give you my tips on what got me through the summer. Number one thing we tip we would give you right now is don't plan any summer vacations or don't plan to go anywhere. I call it like you're basically a slave. She doesn't like it. I don't like that. Do own your soul to the fellowship. Yeah. You really won't. You won't have time. But you basically are going to be going to work, which will be your training. Then going straight to school. Then you're gonna be in groups doing projects. Or have to study because you do have testing and papers due. You really won't find the time. So balancing it is really important. But don't schedule it because you're not gonna know your schedule, like your school schedule, wherever you're placed, um, until like the ending of training, right? So if you plan something and it happens to be at the same time you start school, you're basically in big trouble because you're gonna have to cancel the trip. Or if you do decide to go, you're Cut. done. You're not allowed to miss. There's like, also unless an emergency you and you only get two or three days something two. like that so you also might have TCI training summer school classes oh and you're expected to be there every single day yes and TCI training is grueling yes so <laughs> mind you on what I just said you're expected to be there every single day that includes on time on time includes you not missing for job interviews they don't give you time to do that they'll have they'll give you a list of things and or even on your teacher track they'll put like places that are having fairs for job interviews or activities to go to workshops however a lot of them are scheduled during your training or work time they do not let you go um i mean they let you go but don't expect to come back um so try to like do some research on your own and find some workshops that are after hours or maybe even on weekends and try to start looking ASAP. As soon as you get into fellows, actually, as soon as you accept it, you don't even have to start summer training and things. Um, you can start looking for jobs and interviewing um, and then go from there. I mean, you're gonna have to provide eventually that you passed, but they do hire you without do the sheet. training and stuff. I, I got hired. In May, I got something in April hired me. Yeah, I got accepted. I got hired in the end of August, and that was tough. Number two, do not, do not, I repeat, do not stress the placements of summer school. I was certified <laughs> special ed grades one through six. All right, I was teaching seven through 12 for my summer training, and she had seven through 12 teaching, but there was one through six in her site. So yeah, I had some that were one through six in my site. It's just sometimes other places are filled and um they can't fit you into the school so they'll fit you wherever you fit basically but yeah. um some things will apply and a lot won't and it would frustrate you and you will have a lot of questions you can ask questions but just just do yeah so this leads on to number three because there's so much that happens that you may not agree with get to know your your fellows in training you're going to be in one summer school with a whole bunch of fellows Everyone in there is not in the same university. They're, as soon as you finish your summer school, everybody splits up in New York City. They could be going up to the Bronx to Lehman. They, be, they could go to Brooklyn down to Brooklyn College. They can go to Hunter across the street from a school. It, you, you have no control over where you go. Especially the fellows that go from your school to university become friends. 
And if you have anyone that goes from your summer school university and lives by you, become their best friend. <laughs> because you're yeah. gonna need it. I think it's important for everyone to know that it's not a competition. This is the problem we had. I don't, well, I don't know if you had. I had that. But in a lot of my classes, everyone was competing. Who was the best present, 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 present. presenter? Who had the best project? The, who had the best study guide? And it's like- Or the lesson plans, they don't share it. It's so right. crazy. Your team, you're gonna get this. You're gonna have to work with each other. No one is going to understand the fellowship you're the like camera. a fellow. Oh, I'm done. See, that even stressed me out thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. You have to be a team. Don't don't be selfish. Don't be self-centered. Don't think you're not as good as anyone, and don't think you're better than anyone. You have to work as a team and be there for each other. You're going to need each other. You're gonna need the help. So that leads to number four. Yeah. In training, just say yes, even if you don't agree. Things are just not going to make sense. And you're going to be like, this doesn't make sense. I feel dumb doing this. It's very animated. They expect you to be like a cartoon teacher thing. Just do it. Just do it. You need to pass those evaluations in order to continue into the fellowship. So what they want to see is just like a selection day. You show them a lesson. They taught you something. They gave you feedback. They wanted to one. see how you applied it. He means two like this. The like two. This. For one, which is two things I like, next time try. They're gonna oh, tell you- Oh, you glow and grow. You glow and grow. They're gonna tell you, oh, you did good in speaking your voice and I love how you gave feedback. But next time try to get- Elaborate. Elaborate or get subject, students- topic, whatever. Yeah, or get students' attention. All eyes on me. Yeah. As much as you're gonna be like, it doesn't work, you just have to do it because the next time they're watching you, they're writing and looking at your pros and cons or whatever it is and if you don't change it up your rating is going to go low and just because it's you got the acceptance doesn't mean you stay you can get kicked out in august yeah it, the evaluations are a lot a lot more important than people think their eyes those evals are everything your lesson plans have to be on point your differentiation for every student needs to be on point so regardless if it's your grade or not your grade um you're animated or not animated it makes sense or doesn't make sense just say yes. Yes, and act it out. Yes, thank you. Or sure, can you please give me an example? Can you uh, show me how to do that? If you feel like you might not be understanding, ask them, because then it will show that you're at least picking up what they're saying and trying to understand it. That goes a long way. It does. Um, so let me say that again. Yes, I started this video saying you were accepted. You got the email, even you seen it. Yay! It doesn't mean you're in. No. August, make sure you do the evaluation. Actually, first you need to pass TCI training. Study. Yeah. A lot, because it goes like a flash, and then they test you, and then you're either in or you're out. You're only really in the fellows when you get into September. That's what I believe, because August you get kicked out. All right, number five. Your relationships will be tested. When I started the fellows, I was in a relationship. I was not. And we didn't really know each other. <laughs> now, we should have followed our number three rule and get to know the fellows in our place because we went to the same university, lived in the same neighborhood. We could have freaking... Same train, same school, same, same time. classes. She, I would travel at the back of the train, she would travel at the front. I had to, my dad said I had to be with the conductor. Yeah. Your relationships will be tested, all of them. I don't mean your girlfriend, your baby mama, your side chick. I mean <laughs> you, your you family, <laughs> your wife. I mean your family as well, your kids, your but even, friends. But even, even, yeah, friends and, and like your parents, your cousins. The, this program sometimes will get you so frustrated that you become rude. You should have my mom here. My mom would tell you there will be days where I would be so frustrated and so overwhelmed at the amount of work that I would just be nasty. Call her right now. We'll, we'll show her what we thought. Okay. Yes, she is. Hi, Mom. Mom, say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. It's okay. We came <laughs> from the right. gym looking reckless, too. Yeah. Say hi. Oh, my God. This is Mama. We're here giving advice to new fellows, and one of our things is talking about how the fellows test your relationships. Not only, like, you know, like a significant other, but with your families. And I wanted to show proof 
How was I during my fellowship with my attitude? I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. <laughs> it was absolutely uh, bipolar. <laughs> I was I wasn't very sweet, Mom. Well, she was nasty and rude. Very nasty and rude. Um, very faithful to God, though. You know, God can't. Okay, me. Mom, gotta go. Love you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, she. Finish. You call me now. You gonna finish? You gonna terminate my interview? <laughs> my mom is a disciplinarian, guys. Oh, you put guys. that in the fellows program. The only thing I can tell you is, listen. If the government is gonna pay for it, go for it. But have Tylenol. Uh, yoga. yoga meditation and you get through it mom thanks i have not finished my interview oh, oh gosh hold on so i wish you all the very best may god be your guidance for those who believe it's okay it's okay, it's okay. if at first you don't succeed you'll never try again okay <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. bye mom that all was right. my mom for you so yeah your relationships will be tested I am a person, she could attest to it, that keeps my emotions to myself. I am a person who is very vocal. So that may have been bad in our previous relationships because I bottled everything up and... Well, in my previous relationship, I did also. Yeah. I, I, see, I person I was dating was not in the same field. They saw teaching as the easiest job ever. Yeah, weekends off, holidays. And you have holidays. weekends off and holidays and breaks and whatever. I'm like... Those weekends and those holidays off will mean absolutely nothing. nothing. You need to lesson plan. You need to grade papers. You need to deal with injuries. I got my shoulder dislocated my first week on the job. And I had to work the whole day with a dislocated shoulder. And especially the summer training, you're going to be having these and a poster board creating your own stuff just to bring it to work. So when you get home after classes at 11, 10, 9, 12 a.m. You're expected to have a lesson plan Every and the day. materials to go through it. Every go. day. You can be going to sleep at 3 to wake up at 4 or 5 the next day to keep it going. It um, all depends on you. Yeah. You have to try, you need to give yourself a timeline with this, like to make sure that you keep a positive relationship, not only with the people in your school and your family and your relationships, but with yourself. You're gonna feel, sometimes you're gonna feel so defeated that you're not gonna know what to do. You have to take a step back, get back in the game, and keep it going. The, the relationships, know who you can vent to, know who are your biggest supporters, and check get, yourself. And check yourself, because it's, it's, I went through hell, she went through hell, and I, I can say a big factor of a lot of arguments was not understanding the stress of fellows and people thinking that teaching is easy. Number six is, especially for males, Dress comf dress professionally but comfortably. Why? <laughs> a lot of people don't. It's so hot. Yes. <laughs> a lot of people don't think about it. No, but some of them don't have summer training, so we have to think about that too. Okay. This is for the summer people training. who have summer training. You're expected to dress professional, so like button downs, get short sleeves. Yes. And then like instead of wearing like um, silk dress pants get like the chino materials or the dry fit or whatever it is because you're going to be hot. going to work leaving running to the train because you need to get to school on time go you're underground. underground on a packed train because at that rush time hour. it's rush hour you'll be drenched in sweat don't forget sometimes trains don't have ac so i used to go from summer school sweat and to teach sweat to go underground after sweat to stay oh, in an oh, AC oh, room oh, in, oh, in oh, case. Oh, oh, oh yeah, so bring a sweater. <laughs> bring a sweater as well. <laughs> and be cold and go home sweat because it's still hot and go home at 12 o'clock just nasty. A lot of people are strict on it. A lot of people are not depending on your mentors. But, but you can get like um, boat shoes. Yes. That's okay. But for girls, I will say, girls is a little easier because you could just throw on a dress and keep it moving. However, like you're going to work. Let's, let's, don't wear t-shirt tight dresses you have to keep in mind that you're working with children or and some of you be working with older kids with crazy hormones and they try to touch you in inappropriate ways and you might get offended you might get upset but you have to understand they are not socially appropriate so and if you dress in very tight clothing or exposing clothing 
it becomes more appealing to them, as it would be for most people. But just wear a loose dress. Go to Old Navy. Number seven. This is a big one. Change your social media name. You may have your whole full name, government, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Change it, because somehow... And make it super private. Yes. You're, if you put your name and you pop up on Facebook, parents are going to look, especially if you're teaching their kids. They're going to go through your stuff. So make sure you put everything on private. And some fellow mentors and stuff have been known to look for you. They will tell you. Yes. We are going to look. They will click on it. And they will expose you. We have yes. huge lectures where they just pop up pictures of people. Make sure you keep it private. But number eight save money now that you got that acceptance save your money you won't get a metro you won't get gas money you won't get book money and you won't get food money so you're only gonna get stipends and you're expected to live your life that you were living before the fellows on this much money well i know that i know it's a little it's a little more now i think when we were fellows from june all the way to Wait, the last week of September, because we didn't even get your first check on time. No. So like the last week of September, we got two thousand dollars. Not bi-weekly, not monthly, just two thousand dollars for all those months. Lunch, gas, metro, books, everything you need in between. Supplies. Oh, and you need to buy your own supplies for your lesson yes. plan. They don't, mm -hmm. they don't provide that for so you. So just, just. Oh, know. but they don't tell you really that your card, or at least I went to Pace, so I know in Pace. Our IDs had thirty dollars a month, yes, right? For copies and stuff. That's that's helpful. Yeah. Number I nine. Wait, I week, wasn't done. It goes into what you're gonna say. Number nine is about checks. The checks you're gonna make as a teacher. She knows about that. So, it, it begins on your very very first check. Fellows, you actually have to pay a portion of it. It says free, but it's not. You pay a portion of it, but they start taking it out the very first check you get and they take it out bi-weekly just like every check you receive so for us at the time it was 180 i know some fellows after us was 200 i don't know how much it is now bi-weekly but because it's taken out from the very start it won't hurt you as much because you just never saw it you get used to it you get you just doesn't you don't, you don't even it. think about it but, but you also don't get teacher paid like teacher salary you get like a student teacher salary it's not bad no um it's way more than we it's made like 12, I, I remember it was like 12 something every two, the 15th and the first. So they get more. Uh, yeah, so you guys get more now. Um, yeah. Like we started with 51. I think now yeah. you guys start with 55 yeah. or something. That's great. It's good, but As just a remember. Teaching fellow. Yeah, remember, you, you're responsible for travel, supplies, and things like that. Teacher life is not simple. And our last tip is timing is key. So traveling, oh man, test timing. <laughs> Oh yeah, test timing will kill you. I mean, first it gives you anxiety because like if you don't have it done by next month, you're out of the program. Not true. Don't get scared. I didn't pass some of my tests to like months before graduation. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, fellows was great, it was easy, I passed all my tests, I failed. You have to take them all, yeah. but you don't have to pass them first try. I would suggest do them as soon as possible. One, you get a feel for it, so if you fail, you know. Whatever, I'll try again. Because Don't get discouraged. I know people that fail tests four, five, six, ten times. Don't get discouraged. Keep taking it. I mean, it'll hurt your wallet because they don't pay for it. Try to pass it as soon as you can. But I would say take it as soon as possible because if not, you're going to go through what I went through. Do I scratch my nose every you probably video? Um, you'll probably go what I went through. And if you wait, I mean, I took it before, but then I just waited for the last minute to take them again. And then you're expected to do capstone research papers at TPA. And that is when Worse. you're going to be tested. But that goes still to tip number eight. Save your money because all those tests cost money. Mm -hmm. All of them. All four, five, if six you, that you got to take is about $200 or whatever. If average. you're living alone, oh, I lived alone alone. So I had to pay for everything by myself. But what I did is, what you, you should do is, as soon as I got my acceptance, I started making a savings account. I would pay my bills, you go out less, sacrifice, you cook more at home, sacrifice, but you save that money so that when the time comes, you're not struggling as bad, or you're not looking around for money. 
if you are in a relationship, you must sit down with your significant other, your partner, whoever you live with, and you need to explain what it is that's happening, what what you think you both should do to work it out, or five or six, I don't know how yeah. many people live in there. But it's really important. This is kind of the same tip. Once you get your university that you're in and your summer school, it's timing again, like we said. Tr it's test timing and travel timing because I lived up far up on the Bronx. I was teaching summer school on the west side of Harlem to then travel after that all the way down to basically Brooklyn in pace. So we literally, both of us, made a giant triangle and she was in the Bronx teaching, I was in Harlem. So we basically made a giant triangle every day going through maybe three, maybe four uh, boroughs in a day to go back home and do the but same thing times. tomorrow. There were times, like I, I go from the first stop to the last stop, basically, and there were times I'm like, okay, an hour and a half, and I'll be there. So I would think, oh, I can just stop right here in the local store and get a pizza and sit and eat it. No, that day, of course, I get to the train. Oh, hour delay. Now what are we gonna do? So I would advise run to that train or run to that car. Some people drove. There's no parking. Think about all the people that are in school already. It's Think always about rush hour. Where people are working. Think about, yeah, the traffic. It's crazy. So when you're heading to work, getting out of school and going to school, rush yeah, hour. Yeah, it's, it's rough. So I would suggest take your transportation of choice as soon as you get out of your work uh, training and get to where you have to go. Once you're there, you could get your food, you could eat in class, you could do whatever. Yes. But get there because lateness is, is not accepted. So, there's been teachers who close the door and kick you out and when yes. you walk in they're like bye then you miss that class you're done. I think you only get two or three and then you're out the fellows. And if you take the days you need to prove that you were sick. Get a doctor's note. You need to bring it in. It sucks because you're adults and things happen and some people have kids yeah. and things like that but that's oh we didn't make that a point but that's important. Create a relationship with your professor of respect and trust and if you're going through something, don't be afraid to speak, to speak up. up. They know. I was going through things That's that I, I still like really quiet and I just try to push through, push through. But They're you're gonna have a nervous breakdown. Mm -hmm. So at that point, if you're feeling overwhelmed, let them know you're feeling overwhelmed. If you don't understand something, let them know you don't understand it. It is okay. You're not gonna look stupid or dumb. And if anyone thinks so, then they have to go that, somewhere else. That's a good point because your professors are not university professors right they're some of them some, some of them are them, adjuncts some of them are yeah, professors some of them are fellows. judges like it's they were yeah. all like they for the most, well, part. most part some of them knew about the fellowship some of them didn't but i've had a good un, like i have a good time thinking that all the professors were understanding Just know oh that. and don't compare yourself yeah don't compare yourself it's Ever. not a competition no i mean we just say that but like you're gonna question yourself a lot yeah, yeah oh Just. <laughs> There's some people I thought that were way better than me as teachers that failed out. And I was like, oh man, I thought that guy was good. And yeah, then they, I you, thought I was bad I'm and sure people were saying. I'm sure you all experienced that selection day. I went yeah. into selection day, I was like, what am I doing? I'm not gonna make it. But you'll be good. And here I am. But uh, though, the teacher technically that's 11 tips. This is like, we wanted to do a summer course because this is the torture a lot of people talk about. The summer course training. Or regular training I don't I don't think the regular training is as brutal but I, I wouldn't I can't speak on that but the summer training is brutal and that's where a lot of people you're gonna see start dropping out like flies so you know just try to live day by day don't overstress yourself and congratulations <laughs> <laughs> You're basically a teacher and it could be a big deal for a lot of people. Some people are just trying it out. Uh, just It may or may not be for you. Yeah, it may or may not. Really don't feel bad. Like, teaching is for me and then they start and they're like, oh no. Yeah, don't feel bad. Don't just go day by day, speak out. And again, if you have any questions, comment down below. Let us know what you want help on. We'll try to make another video like this as fast as we can because... Uh, Cause I'm a teacher and I have no life. <laughs> yeah, so she can talk about the ed TPA and all of that. We can talk about how you transition into school. I did my school. ed TPA in 13 hours. 
So yeah, comment down below. Let us know if this was helpful. What else you would like to know. If there's any more questions on the fellowship that you don't understand. Well, we've been trying to reach out on a previous video. And I think we've been doing a good job. We're trying. Yeah, so please take these tips and hopefully we'll good see luck. you again. Good luck and congratulations.